Here this VW Crafter, it's starting and immediately stolen on a hot start once the vehicle's warmed up. It's coming up on the diagnostic as a camshaft and crankshaft correlation. Now we've got a new kit for the cam belt. We're going to take that off and have a look at it and obviously replace it with a new one and a new water pump here. Here we've checked the timing and there's no correlation. The timing is marked up perfectly. So we're going to look at taking off this crank gear pulley and having a look at that. Here we've got the crank bolt out and we've used one of these Milwaukee guns with a 19mm socket. Spray up this, plenty of WD 40. Just gonna try and keep wheeling it like this. Clean that up and have a look at it. Now we've got the old pulley and a new one. I'm going to try and clean this up a bit, see if we can notice any difference. Sometimes these can sort of move or wear off slightly, which makes it move that tiny little much to one side. Alright, if we look at each pulley. Side by side. Here on this pulley, you got. You can see it's a little bit warped. It's got wear on that corner there. Very tiny amount, but hopefully this is gonna fix the problem. I'm just gonna try and clean up all of these areas, especially down here. So here now, we've got the locking pin on the fuel pump. It's already got a marker on there from someone else before, but obviously you just lock it in place. And now we're gonna we're gonna move on to the getting the crank on and locking this into place, and then doing the camshaft. Here's uh, we have the faults that were coming up. So these two are not to be taken notice of. It's just where we had the cam belt off and a few things unplugged. So this is the fault here, P0016 and 00, crankshaft and camshaft correlation. So we've just replaced the uh, the crank gear pulley and a new cam belt. So we'll see how that goes. The van is now starting and we're just letting the temperature build up and we're going to drive it around for the day and see how it goes if it's gonna cut out and if it's not gonna restart it got to the position where the point where this was stalling when you when it when you started up and if you kept trying it sometimes it would it would start but it got to the point where it just cut out and it, it would restart and just immediately die and it would not start again so we'll see how we get on after the test drive. So here we are, we've had a long test drive of about 20 minutes or so. Let's have a look. Got our mileage there. And now we're going to have a look in the control module. Fault calls detected. 
Now, before we've changed the crank pulley, when we clear the code, it was returning immediately after about five seconds. And we're going to try a restart. Perfect. So we've had a very good result there from that. Change the crank pulley and the camshaft and crankshaft correlation has disappeared. The van is starting and driving as normal. No fault codes on her on our machine here. Very happy. So if you got this problem, it's a good place to look.